Good morning, goddesses. Uh, this is Goddess, your uptown goddess, roaming around Orlando, Florida. And today we've passed by, I uh, forgot what that is, but the, the beach is called Cocoa Beach. And there was a lot of like um, yachts there and a cruise ship was there. So we're at Southern Cafe for breakfast. It's a late breakfast. It's almost 11 o'clock. It's really nice here. Leroy, Rick and Tita are chilling while waiting for the our turn for the table which is gonna take around 15 minutes What is it called? Cape what? Cape Canaveral Cape Canaveral So they're not waiting inside? Are they waiting for the turn also in the cafe? It's a waiting area here With toast, this is yeah. toast. White for me also. Okay. Did you get, so yeah. I got white. Yeah. You got white toast there. Yeah. Omelets for all. You finished yours, even the toast. Yeah. Wow. That's how happy you were. Wow. You yeah. really did like that. Yeah. yeah. It's on my... Hi, thank you. <laughs> that is Diana. <laughs> so cute. Yeah, I know, right? She's so cute. Like, please. You, you know that that is please. probably from the 40s or 50s. Really? Oh, okay. I'm so cute. Look how cute are the ticket boots. You do it on your own. I have it. 57 for all four. But why do you give us five? Oh. It's all the same. Ah, uh, this is this is your receipt. Okay. Yes, that's a receipt. With one senior, one um, army. Come back here. The bus stops in front of my Then go on with the second hand. Okay. Enjoying the journey. Right, guys, himself said something to, to the effect that listen, if something happens to us, you it's need to keep going with this because it's, it's too important. So, right, the bus, I think, after it about its mission, but it cares about its people too. Because as you know, with 1300 kicks, finally, we actually didn't know that it's like a park park, like, you know, like a serious park. I thought it's just a museum where you only have to look at spaceships, the displays, and that's it. But this is a park. Wow, and we pay for adults to pay that. The bus is there. Our travel for centuries. The more we learn about our universe, the more questions we have. Are we 
Yeah. Apollo 8. Haba, rabi. Look at Apollo 9, right? 9? This X is 10. Ah, Apollo 9. Ah, so this is Apollo 9. This is 10. So these are a bit different than the ah. icons they use. Okay. Apollo 7. Uh, the, the different icons are marking them for all the Apollos that now in the circles. So, the third part pala, ito na pinuputo, ito na lang yung sao, papunta. Diyan din sila sa ano? This is the third part that they catch us. So, we have one, two, and the third part. And that's only the third part. We're walking under the second space, the second part of the space. And the first one is over there, right at the back. That's a huge one. I wonder if Apollo 8 only had 80 people on the aircraft. And then the guys said that there's like hundreds of them working here on that actual on that actual uh, remote system, whatever. So is that a game? What choices do you have? Once on the surface, astronauts deploy the LRV from the lens mirror. Okay. Yep, the control system. Right. 3,000 acres. NASA only occupies about 7,000 acres. Other than the few launch pads and facilities you see spotted across the horizon, this area remains a refuge for 150,000 species of plants and animals. I want to introduce you to Becky Bolt, who has been a NASA wildlife ecologist here at KSC for nearly 35 years. Becky, what kind of wildlife can we expect to see here today? We have lots and lots of different kinds of wildlife. We have over 400 species that occur out here on the Space Center. Look in the ditches and you'll see lots of wading birds, tall herons, egrets, ibises. There's all there's several species of those and I can pretty much guarantee you're gonna see some of those. We have bobcats, raccoons, all, all kinds of animals. Now, what is your role as a wildlife ecologist? One of the main things we do is uh, support operations. So uh, people always think, oh, let's launch. Well, Kennedy Space Center is big and we have a lot of employees. It's like a city. We have lots of roads, we have lots of buildings. So, wherever your destination is, you have a blessed, safe, and enjoyable time.
This is the base of the Atlantis. Wow, it's huge. All right, guys, we're gonna go for a, a Atlantis uh, uh, takeoff assimilation. Yeah. Assimilation. Atlantis takeoff assimilation. It's gonna be it's gonna be turbulent. Um, what's that? Shaky. So are you supposed to like wear a suit? Experience how astronauts felt when they wore they they wore the. No, but you're supposed to wear the um, ast astronauts. Uh, <laughs> but it's only a simulation, so you don't really have to just grab something to hold. And it's gonna take 20 minutes. Here. And then we were put outdoor because there's no space. 